Alright guys, welcome to another beer review and this is a beer from two breweries, it's a collaboration and it's from two breweries who I need to drink more of their beers um, because the beers that I have had from either brewery have been really quite interesting, uh, more so one of the breweries. But uh, today we're going over to Magic Rock Brewery and this is a collaboration with uh, Dumoulin and this is the Dumoulin which is a Mexican Mole Imperial Stout. Uh, so the uh, ABV on this one is, where is it? Du -du 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 -du. I just spun the whole can round and it was right there. So this is 10% uh, ABV. And uh, yeah, I think it's one of these sort of like um, Mexican hot chocolate sort of stouts where there's quite a bit of spice in there. But um, yeah, I picked this up from um, Beer Moth in Manchester when Paul was visiting us and I know Rob from Hopseam has drank this one which uh, it, it was sprung in my mind and that's why I picked it up and um, gotta say uh, Rob also gifted me um, the I can't remember what the beer is called but it's the sort of like German lager that they do from Magic Rock which I was gonna drink but when I came home uh, my can had been punctured, so I'll have to buy myself a can. So, uh, Rob, I do apologise about that, but I do appreciate it. Plus, he was very, very generous because he gave me a 2014 bottle of one of my favourite beers, um, Founders uh, Backwards Bastard. And I'm like, Ugh. But, uh, yeah, the, the whole trip to Manchester was just wonderful. And uh, to finally meet guys like Paul and Rob, and, of course, we've got Craig, Stuart, Harry, uh, meeting up with James again, it was... Um, I needed it, you know, it was really good for the soul. But, um, yeah, so I know Rob has reviewed this one, and I didn't watch his review because I was like, oh, I'm very interested in the idea of that one. So this is a stout, and I'll read you the um, ingredients list, which is quite impressive so the malts are golden promise pinhead oats smoked malt and roast barley brown malt crystal rye malt and double roasted crystal hop and then the hops are t90 magnum and then whole leaf we've got target hercules and then other ingredients include chipotle morita chilies ancho chilies mulatto chilies pasilla chilies cacao nibs pumpkin seeds cinnamon, coriander and cumin and the yeast strain was WLP001, 10% ABV and um, yeah collaboration between Demolin and Magic Rock so I'm very intrigued with how this is going to turn out. Beautiful artwork as always is the guy, I can't remember the guy's name, for some reason I've got the name Drew Millard in my name which are, in my name in my head which I don't think that's the case but I always like to credit the uh, um, artist and he really has created some absolutely beautiful and somewhat abstract artwork for Magic Rock especially of late when they've gone to this sort of design so um, yeah let's open this up and see what we get and I can see that tank all I've had already and look at that it's, it's stained my skin on the opening um, yeah very generous amount of beer in the can as well which is always appreciated so, oh my word, look at that. That is like you've smashed a pipe and it's leaking. That is pretty much as black as the dark is long. That's not the same, Peter. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much jet black with a really intense sort of um, mocha looking head. That just looks hearty, doesn't it? Looks so nice and inviting and decadent. So uh, let's see what we get on the nose. <sighs> Definitely getting that sort of like um, chili oil aroma. Now, I've not had too much experience with chilies. I mean, I do like spicy food to an extent. So a lot of these chilies I, I don't think I've ever had in my life. But it's got that sort of like, you know, that like smoky paprika sort of a bell pepper character but then a little bit more sharpness to it i am picking up that sunflower seed it reminds me of a sunflower seed oil a little bit of like vanilla chocolate vibe it's very spicy in fact when you put your nose really into it 
you get this lovely sort of like milk chocolate aroma. And it sort of tingles nostrils, but it's not too harsh. Very well rounded for what's in there. But yeah, you get that sort of like oily greenness from like the, the bell pepper character and those chilies. It smells absolutely wonderful. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Oh, that has certainly got a bite to it. It's more on the back end, and I'd imagine the more I drink it, the more it's going to build on like my throat. But it's not uncomfortable. It's not intrusive. It is very subtle as it comes up. It's got a lovely, bold, smooth, velvety mouthfeel to it without it being too heavy. I've got to say, that 10% ABV is masked wonderfully. And I think that chilli sort of uh, plays a part in that. But it, it's a little singing now. Because I took a bit more of a bigger gulp and it hit straight to the back of my throat. But yeah, it's got that sort of like chocolate milk character to it, which is really nice. And it's got that sort of like graininess as well you get with like a chocolate milkshake from like McDonald's or something. Of course, it's a lot more satisfying to drink than that. But oh yeah, the more you drink it. The more that chilli heat is stirring up. Not to the point where it's really aggressively burning or anything like that. But it, it lets you know that that medley of chilies is there. Not really picking up the cinnamon uh, too much. Aside from that slight tingling sensation you get from cinnamon. But yeah, it is like, it really is like a Mexican chocolate, um, like hot chocolate. I can't remember what they're called now, but um, it's basically where they, it's like batter. And they put it through like a um, an icing bag and it's sort of like in a star shape. And then they deep fry it and then you dip it in um, dark chocolate. I forgot what they're called, but they're absolutely delicious. Basically fried batter with chocolate. That's it. Um, it's definitely got that sort of like um, Mexican vibe to it. But yeah, I'm just so amazed at how well masked that 10% ABV beer is. And that chili aspect, noticeable, but so satisfying. It's got a real sense of like refinement to it. There's like, you don't get that sort of like, oh, we'll see what happens when we do this. You almost get that like feeling that both breweries, using their knowledge, have come together and said, well, if we use this chilli with this chilli and combine it with this ingredient and that ingredient and this malt and that malt and that hop and that hop, it's, it's calculated. And you can clearly tell that both breweries know what they're doing. Oh, it's so creamy. It's like really oily and slick after I've finished. It's really coating the tongue. That mouthfeel is so gorgeous. It's so decadent. I really, really like this. I've not had too many of these sort of like Mexican chili stouts. But this is just beautiful. There's like a very subtle tobacco flavour on the back end. But the smokiness isn't really too sharp. There's like a little bit of like paprika powder. The oils from the chilies. Smooth velvety chocolate. A little bit of dark chocolate. A little bit of milk chocolate. A lovely malt build in this beer and the hops like just play into that earthiness you get from the chilies i think that's absolutely wonderful it really really is and you could demolish a can like this 
way too quickly. A 10% ABV beer should not be this drinkable. Hmm. It's going to really bug me. Um, not remembering what that is called. Uh, where, oh, I, I really want some of that now. Just lovely, fresh, molten hot, melted chocolate. And just those dippy, sweet... Um, uh, it's really one of those beers, and like that chili just keeps getting slowly stronger and stronger without getting to the point where you're like... <laughs> so, even if you're not the biggest chili head, you could still enjoy this beer, I reckon. Um, and if you do love your chilies in your beer, I think this is a great example. Um, the only other time that I've had a really good chili beer was uh, Pirate Craft Brew Berlin and their Chili Porter. This to me is like the next level from that, and I thought that was like a 10 out of 10 beer uh, for a porter as well. But this, I just love the refinement to it. It's got a real sense of maturity. It's not too in your face. It's not too, let's put it all together and see if it works. The expertise and the reputation from both breweries. And uh, yeah, I didn't really see too much hype for this beer. But if you see a can of it, I. Uh, Definitely, definitely give it a go. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. That is a lovely, lovely beer. And um, I, I can't pick out any faults. I really, really can't. Some people might say, oh, try this. Because uh, I know, um, was it Evil Twin and West Westbrook? They do a sort of similar beer, um, which we were potentially going to be drinking on a bottle show in Manchester. But I'm actually quite glad we didn't because I drank a, a little bit too much. Um, you know, if you're down in sink the best mark and then 500 mils of CBS and like a barrel aged uh, ice box from Schneiderweiser as well as other beers during the night and then of course all the drinking during the day, then you know, it would have just been wasted on me and it probably just would have, I just would have noticed the burn from the chilies. But um, yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. That's one of the best Magic Rock beers that I've had. And, uh, God damn it, I want another can. So, I'm going to enjoy the rest of that beer. And that's going to be the last beer of the night, because I've still got to go to work tomorrow. But, oh well, it is Friday. So, of course, check out Rob's review of this one, because I'm sure it's a lot more refined and on point than mine ever could be. Um, and I'm actually really interested to go watch his review straight after this, actually, to be honest. But, um, yeah, if anyone else has reviewed it, who I'm friends with, then, of course, the links are down below. Uh, check out Magic Rock. I think I've got a playlist of Magic Rock, so I'll put that down below. Uh, check out my yeah Magic Rock playlist. Check out my Stout playlist, my Imperial Stout playlist. And hopefully, if you've tried this, you'll give me your thoughts and opinions as well. And more importantly, I hope you join me next time for another beer review. So thank you guys for watching. <coughs> and I'll hopefully see you later.